everybody, welcome back to my channel. I'm Adiyasha, and today we'll be making an aquarium. With, not with real fish, but with, like, you know, like, like, okay, so we're painting rocks today. Sorry about that. So we're painting rocks, and then we'll be painting fish on them, and then we're going to be putting them in a fish bowl to make an aquarium. Cringe. Okay, let's get into it. Things you need is some sand. Ooh, be careful. Um, I got this from my backyard. Some pebbles, which I also got from my backyard. And some rocks, which will be painted. And I got from my backyard. And then we're going to need ho holiday green paint, aqua, white paint, bright blue paint, black, and orange. I use craft smart paint. And we also kind of need a fishbowl and the and we have some colored sand, which I got from the dollar store. And you don't really need the What? I'm so sorry. You don't really need the colored sand. Well, you you, you can get them if you want to. It's it depends. We need a cup full of water. I have it right here and I don't want to spill anything. A paper towel. And some paper. Let's get it. So I kind of outlined of a, like a clownfish. I know it does not. I know it does not look like a clownfish, but it's gonna have to do. So you, this is what you can do. You can get like a paper and then, like cut a shape out and then just put it and then trace it over. Or you can just do it hand drawn. And then I kind of drew a starfish, but I'm gonna trace it over sh sharpie so you guys can see it. This is the starfish. Okay, and then this one, this one's just going to be like some seaweed. So what I'm going to do is just make some curves. And some smaller, bigger. Those can connect. And then that's one big one right here. And two more right here. And then this is like the outline. And then we're going to go to paint. So I have. So first we're going to do the starfish. But before we even paint in them, I'm going to get. Like, I pulled out my paint and then now we're going to start painting. And then you kind of. If, if you need the black lines, try not to go over them. But if you don't need the black lines, you can go over them. I kind of do need the black lines, so I'm not going to go over them. I'm going to go over them. I'm just going to go over it. The struggle is real. Remember guys, slow and steady wins the race. Might as well yawn through this. I did white in the pattern, and then now you want to take your aqua color and then just kind of, you know, do it. Well, that's going to be the background color. The struggle is real. Again, might as well want to go on through this. You might want to like a few coats so it gets like that nice solid look. I think aqua is a really pretty color. That's why I chose it for like my background. So I kind of did this one. It's drying, so and meanwhile, we'll do the fish, the clownfish. We're gonna need some white paint and orange paint. And if you want to, you can also use black paint, but you don't really need it. So I'm gonna get the white. Okay, so I'm not gonna do the, like the head. I'm just gonna do this part right here. Remember, slow and steady wins the race. You kind of want to show the black lines, but you, if you accidentally like go over them, you can always, when it's dry, you can always go over them. And then you want to skip one, and then go to this one. You need more paint. So I finished the, the fish part, and then now we're just going to do the orange part. I'm just going to clean up my paintbrush. I'm going to get the orange, 
you don't want to get anything in the eye or in the mouth. So you kind of want to you want to go slow when it comes to the mouth and the eye. It's okay if you get it like on the white part, but also try not to get it on the black part. But if you do, you can always just retrace it with a black sharpie or black paint, whichever one you have. Okay, now that I'm done with this one, I'm just going to trace. I'm just going to get some orange, and this one is for the fin. A little bit too much paint. And that also, I kind of missed some spot. And if you have a rock like this, you want to bring it over to the edge. And you want to go slow. So the fish is out there drying. And then now we're going to do this. Make the seaweed green or brown. It depends. Hmm. Should I do green? Or should I do brown? I don't know. I'll do both. Okay, so I just need to wash my paintbrush. And after you, like, wash your paintbrush, you want to get a napkin to dry it off. Otherwise, like, it will turn into watercolor. And then if it turns into watercolor, it, like, becomes really runny. And you kind of want to... Don't want it runny. You want it thick. I'm going to do the tall ones will be green and then the shorter ones will be brown. This look, um, this one steady blends the race. You want to cover everything that's white. You can cover the black part, but it's your choice if you want to cover the black part. Rubble is real. Now I will be doing the brown part. I, I, um, I forgot the word. But I think you should use the light brown more than a dark brown. I think it's better than a dark brown. Okay, so when you're done with your starfish painting it orange, you want, the outside should be the aqua color. And then, uh, you didn't see me paint it for like, you know, time's sake. So I'm going to paint the one last. And you kind of want like some few, like multiple layers to get that like, you know, that solid feeling. And that's this. Okay, so I've made all of these. I made these ones off camera. And these are the three that I just showed you. A clownfish, a seahorse, some coral, starfish, octopus, three little fishies turtle, another clownfish, and a puffer fish. And then now, we're going to set up the bowl. Okay, now we were going to set our fish bowl up. So I'm just going to film this bowl. And I'm going to get my white sand, and then just kind of like put it on top. Just like, and spread the white sand all. Okay, so we put the brown sand and the white sand is on top. And you just want to put the pebbles right on top of that. Smooth it out. And then you want to get a spoon. And I just dig it up. Put it right on top. So I'm going to put a little bit of lavender. Oops. If you want people to see the colored sand, you want to put mostly, mostly on the side. Now, I will be putting the red sand in. So, this is kind of how it should turn out. And then now, you want to just place your rocks. Make sure they're standing up straight. And then this is your aquarium. I really hope you... Sorry about that. Um, I really don't have room for this turtle, so I'm just going to put it here. But I really hope you enjoyed today's video, and I really hope you followed along with these steps, because we don't want our, my hard work to be, you know, wasted. And I really hope you enjoyed, and like and subscribe. Bye!